I quit working at 44, but it took me until I was 61 years of age to make a serious adjustment which meant I could truly enjoy my retirement years. In this video, I'll share that adjustment with you. I regard it as being the secret source that has enabled me to set up the final chapters of my life to be fulfilling and rewarding. I quit working full time when I was 44. At the time, I regarded it as a career break. I didn't regard it fully as retirement at that time. I had every intention of returning to work full time in some sort of format. I'd had one business which I'd been focusing on for the best part of 13, 14 years and it was in an industry that I'd been in since I was 23. So when I took the step to sell that business, exit and take a bit of time out, I didn't think for one minute that I would never return to work, but I didn't. For the next four years, I did absolutely nothing. I was a stay-at-home dad, I indulged my hobbies, I travelled a lot. I made the most of the fact that I didn't really need to work, but as I approached 50, I would say that I felt a distinct lack of purpose. By the time I was 48, I was ready to return to work. But I made the decision that I was done with full-time work. So at that age, that's when I guess I really considered myself to be retired. So what I decided to do at that point was set up a small consulting and investing firm in the industry that I spent my last 20 odd years in. So I set about putting myself out there and letting everybody know that I was available as an advisor, a non-exec director, I was prepared to invest capital in good projects. And the offers came in, I took up a few of them, and I was back to work one or two days a week. But throughout my 50s, I couldn't shake off one thing that had always been there in my 20s and my 30s. And even though I was only working one or two days a week, it still hung around like a bad penny. And that thing was ambition. Every project that I dived into I set about it with gusto, setting complex goals and having grandiose ambitions. Everything I touched, I wanted to be successful. Every single project I dived headfirst into, and in some cases it did involve working more than one or two days a week. There were one or two of them where I was seriously sucked in. A few of my investments didn't go well and I actually returned to working full time in them to try and do something about them. But the reality is none of them worked out well and I wouldn't say I wasted my 50s but I certainly spent a lot of time going down cul-de-sacs, coming up against hurdles and having quite a few times where I felt stressed and the reality is that doesn't sit well with retirement. So as I turned 60 and my latest project wasn't going to plan despite putting a huge amount of effort into it, I decided it was time to change. It was time for a different mindset. I'd spent my 50s being driven and ambitious despite only wanting to work part-time. So I figured that that wasn't going to serve me well in my 60s. So here's what I changed, my mindset. I changed to have a serious lack of ambition. And that is my secret sauce that I'm sharing with you today. Lack of ambition. Having a lack of ambition has been an absolute game changer for me. No longer do I have complex and hard to achieve goals. No longer am I beating myself up and suffering from stress because my targets are not being met. Everything's just a little bit more relaxed. The real benefit of a lack of ambition has been that I'm now able to do whatever I want, when I want, with whoever I want. And that, at the end of the day, is the freedom that the decision I made not to be so driven brings to my retirement. Isn't that what retirement's all about? Freedom. You don't want to be anchored by the stresses and the aggravations that you once had in your working life. Otherwise, what's the point of retiring? And I couldn't quite get that balance right in my 50s. I wanted the freedom. I didn't want to put in a full-time shift, but I wasn't able to shake off the stress and the pressure and the mindset that had served me so well in my 30s and 40s. 
Uh, so when I was 61, I made that decision and it was the right one to have a lack of ambition. One of the things I found hardest about running a business was the people aspect of it. And you can't really have a successful business without people. So I actually developed some pretty good management and leadership skills when I was in my 30s. But it never really sat well with me. My natural personality is that I'm an introvert. I prefer to go into an office, shut the door and work on a project. And I don't know why, but I didn't figure that out until I was about 60. So when I was in my 50s, I kept throwing myself back into situations that meant I encountered people. And when you encounter a lot of people in your job, you invariably come across idiots, assholes, assholes, whatever you want to call them, people who are perhaps not up to the job. And that was certainly my experience when I was in my 50s. If I could have my time again, I would probably parachute back and take a bit more time to really understand myself and the things that drive me and the things that I enjoy doing. I would set myself anti-goals and things that I don't want in my life. And one of those things would have been responsibility for managing or leading people. Uh, unfortunately, I did get sucked into managing and leading people again in, the, in my 50s, even though it's not something that I really should have been doing. But I didn't take enough time during the four years after I quit full-time work to really do a deep dive into the things that I wanted from my life and the things that I enjoyed doing and the things that would suit my skill set. I did do that deep dive when I was 61. I went through a series of tests and exercises online to really dig in what I enjoy doing. And now I do things that fit with me, not with other people. I'm not a man who suffers from regrets. Anything that doesn't work out in life, I regard them as experiments. There's an old tale that um, I always recall, I think it's about Edison with his light bulbs, that he had about a thousand light bulbs, I think it was, before he actually invented the one that worked and that now lights up our houses. And I always think about that. So every time I do something and it doesn't work out, I don't beat myself up about it. It's just one of those things. But yes, I could have taken a bit more time to think about myself and what I really wanted to do and what I liked doing and what was good for my personality type. And if you're nearing retirement or you're in the early stages of retirement, I would advise you just to step back and take a good look at yourself and analyze your strengths analyze your weaknesses and make a decision about what is the type of thing that suits you. As I said earlier in the video, I didn't do that and I think that's probably why I spent the next 10 years doing things that I thought might be right, but they weren't. I wanted to use my knowledge and my experience to help other people, but the way I went about it wasn't actually the right way to do it. So that's my takeaway really from my 10 years of, of journeying in retirement is take your time to figure yourself out and what you really want to do. Now that might be you want to spend time working. It might be important to you to carry on working. I mean, it does give people a sense of purpose. I know for me, I do still like to do a bit of work. I don't think I'll ever be fully retired until I'm physically not able to. Um, I mean, I'm still retired because I don't do that thing that I was once known for back in my 20s and 30s. But for retirement, it's a different definition for everybody. So yeah, that's really the takeaway. Uh, this is my Friday morning vlog. For any of you who've been watching my channel, you'll know that this is the day when I drop Uncle Archie off at the supermarket for his weekly shop. Uh, and now I'm coming to the end of this video. I'm gonna go back and uh, pick him up and, uh, and take him back home. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope some of the things we've talked about today or I've talked about today will resonate with you and perhaps help you with your retirement and figuring things out for yourself once you, once you get after 50 and certainly things that you should figure out by the time you're 60. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.